All right, first off, welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Got to see all the support, all the likes. Greatly appreciated on every single video. We're trying to go over like a half hour per part at least. That's what I kind of stick to until the ending. But love you all. If you want more of this series, each stage, just keep it up. I love you all. Let's get this. I'll need to get those dried Billy Wick stings for Gareth. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might... Uh... You wanted to see me, sir? Yes. Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. At your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. All right. Wait. How do you know about the book and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This is pretty cool. It just floats around. I gotta say that... This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Might as well. That's why we're here. Mm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Oh, have fun at times. You must try it. I beg your pardon? Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it, just right. One can almost taste it. Mm. Like I'm just ah, stealing everything. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the bed here and head on in. Did you say, tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way. Oh, the painting house. behind him. I was like, what? Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Not going to be over here. It's got to be in this little purple area. Okay. That's funny. Hey, let's get it. All right, obtain the rotten roast beef. I'm gonna collect everything I see, though. Wait, what is this? Hmm, here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. A chest right there. I'll take that. We got a top hat. Look at that. A lot of loot in here. You know what the what the Harry Potter stuff always reminds me of is Beauty and the Beast when all like the dishes and stuff are doing stuff. Uh oh, hold on. Revenia. Hey, let's get it. All right, House Elf Living Quarters. The secret passage. Seven out of eight. Oh, nice. There's a there disgusting it is. smell. Oh, I must be getting close. Oh, a student! What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. I think the, uh, wasn't Headless Nick in the very first movie? If I'm not mistaken, the Sorcerer's Stone. All right, let me go ahead and read all these. I'll just ask. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gamp's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it. Transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight.
straight up to the Great Hall. All right, let's see. Are you restricted to certain foods? Yeah. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Oh, we got one more. You don't mind students in here? I mean, obviously we took a secret passage, so. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. All right, thank you. Actually, it's it kind of cool to like not it was be nice all mean about you. it, you know? Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Return to Sir Nicholas. Is there anything else in this room I could collect? Nothing like the room prepared by a house Hold on. Elf. Hey. A uniform, really? Revelio. Pretty much taking everything. <laughs> we got a chest over here too. Delicious. Level one lock. Oh man. Too bad you can't just shoot it. Look at him taking notes. That's so cool. Rebellion. Right, I think we're good. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen. It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Like I just ate that in the middle of everything. All right, here we go. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Uh, roast beef wasn't for you. Huh. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Alright, this is dangerous. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this Headless Hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta! Look who's here! What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. Mm. 
What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Er, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, you jest. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze through my hair. Or so I recall. Got the little map right here. All right. It's going to be using the uh, illumination. Hmm. Here the we map. go. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Hmm. Best hang on to it for now. All right. So that guy we just talked to was the leader of the Headless Hunt. Hold on, let me see. Follow them over this way. Wait a minute. That was one of those books. <laughs> Man, I don't think I can... That has some range. Let's get it. I was like, is it going to reach? next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Uh, why are you doing this to him? What are yeah, I mean, we already got the rules, so how did you lose your head? How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. <laughs> All right. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Alright, I'm game. Let's do it. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. All right, here we go. Show the pumpkins to find the head. I'm glad I would be like the one to clean up this mess. Well, this one's shaking. Maybe it's the ones that are shaking. Here we go again. I've never seen a plague like this. How delightful. Follow these, I'm guessing. Did I come back? Won't be long now. You won't find him. 
Wait, can we destroy this lock with, uh... Level 3, oh my goodness. Alright, so there's only a few that are lit up blue. I'm assuming... And it's respawned, too. We're 4 out of 5. Here we go, there's the last one over here. I could do that, too, if I had a wand. And a body. Well done! Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Uh, what's in the cave? Here we go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Alright, what did you steal from Peeves, alright? How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first, but Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. All right. That is a pretty cool quest. The hunt for the missing pages. A fine night for revelry. Felt weird as like a main quest because it didn't seem to really tie into the story. I actually really like the story hasn't really quite picked up just yet. All right, let's see what we got next. Kind of just going on the quest line right now. We got a bunch of side stuff I could do. Uh, all right. Why is this lit up? Let's see. This is the uh, appearance. Okay. Appearances, rewards for that gold. The spellcraft, more appearances. Okay. Let's see if something pops up. I'm assuming we're good. Hold on. I need to check off my inventory to get stuff too. Here it is. It popped up. All right. Open quest log. Let's see. Disarming charm. Ooh. How far away is this? Yeah, let me just fast travel. The cool thing is... Yeah, this is... Man, should I go back into the town area? I just realized it might be... Worth it. Hold on, let's see. Oh, maybe... Hold on, is this taking me back the other way? Let me zoom out. It's saying to go like... Yeah, so we're here. We're going back to the town area. I'm, I'm just going to go back to... What does it say it's in here at all? Now, let me double check. I'm just going to follow it because it feels like I'm not supposed to go anywhere where I'm supposed to like normally fast travel to. We'll go on foot. It's all good. Yeah, it's just all out here. So it all works out. Uh oh, <laughs> give me two out of eight. I like how each area has those floating books. Let's scan around a little bit. Does 
doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Wait a minute. It was right there next to the other one. That's actually surprising. All right. All right, it's a little town area where you fought the giant troll, so. Now we're headed back over here. Now it's 500 away. In the Forbidden Forest, okay. That's why it's not somewhere fast traveling to normally, because it's somewhere we've never been before. That's why we're running there. I'm kind of wondering, so we haven't unlocked, I'll show you right now. As far as like the gear. Oh yeah, we've got a long way to go. Look at the quest. So we have, we've done a lot of stuff in this game, but I feel like we've only scratched the surface as far as like the main story because gear wise, we got any upgrades? Nothing yet. Okay. Wand handle. Basket weave blue. Hmm. So it's like a different version of that one. I honestly like this. Almost feels like a katana type grip. Okay. What do we got here? This is the other thing. Treasure map. Wait, is that what that said? Treasure map? Hidden treasure map, right? Alright, challenges. Let's go ahead and go to the exploration. See if we unlock anything cool here. Increase storage for gear. So it's a passive trait. We don't actually have to collect it or whatever. Uh, combat. Let's see. Quest is the one thing I know that... Alright, so we get the next two done. Oh, we need assignments for that one. This is side relationship quests. Okay. I just realized something. There's only... Unless this ventures out more. Complete main quest. It's like the third column already. You know, because it's like two, four, six. Maybe eight and ten. I don't know. If that's the case, there's still a lot of quests left in the game. The side content I definitely want to check out too. Alright, we're going to go on foot here. So we gotta go all the way into the little forest area. Alright, so it's looking around and we can't do this quest just yet. So I went ahead and fast traveled next to the actual marker for it. Now what we have to do, so if you look at this, requirements is the reward for this. We gotta learn this disarming charm. Pretty much. It just says, so we're casting the fire spell on five different enemies. Uh, we got one out of five. Dodge rolling. There's enemies next to this, so I might just get it done here. Which I'm assuming that's why... Because this is the quest right here. I fast traveled and I came I over think here. I'm ready for this just yet. Here we go. Let's just try fighting. <laughs> it might be might be as simple as just seeing what we got. You! Insane. What do you think you're doing? You're the little son that saved Treadwell. There's one. Afraid to take a hit, are you? I need to wait for them to attack me. <laughs> the dodging seems fine, but. There we go. Two out of five. You gotta be really close for that. I don't know how I feel about that. You gotta be so close. Alright, three out of five. We're gonna get this done, so. I don't wanna kill him, though. I gotta be careful. I should get the dodging first. Well, there's that, I guess. One more dodge, and then I do the attack, and then we're done. There it is. Now I got it. Man, the combat is kind of nice. I kind of want to go fight the other enemies. There's some next to me. Lumos. Let me use this light because I can't see anything. Level 8. I heard something. I <laughs> just like throwing that. Stop right there. I think this one requires... Huh? I'll bet that one hurt. This requires the other one. Reduction. Woo, hold on. Not so tough now, are ya? I think the only way to do this is to break up. Yeah, that's it. These are uh, simple as that. Woo, that combo. Let's get it. <laughs> it's so sick. Oh god. We gotta be careful. This is a strong enemy. Too far away. Oh 
There we go. Nora Treadwell from us. Oh, hold on. Where are you going? Hey, what? My bite is Uh, okay, so this enemy, you have to actually. That makes sense. So after you defeat them, they transform, and then you actually gotta finish them off. There we go. Dark wizards. The beast around here can sleep a bit easier now. Alright, attend defense. Okay, I gotta do that during the day, so I should now head back and sleep. Or just, I think if I just fast travel, I think I'll be fine. Alright, let's just go ahead and head back over there. Alright, fun fact, I didn't know this, right? I was trying to figure out how to change it back to daytime. You just wait. That's all you do. You press R3 and it just changes it. That's all you gotta do. I thought you had to be in, like, your actual room or something, but you can just be anywhere. Very interesting. Alright, now we're gonna track this and go to the actual class. Since it is now the next day. I actually forgot all about, like, there being a night-day cycle. Because <laughs> the game hasn't really done anything for that yet. Hold on. Same to go through here. Alright. For the first time we popped out here, we saw the uh, other professor. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, we should be right next to it. So we gotta learn this in the actual class. That's actually cool how they did that. Head on down here too. I gotta admit, the support on this series is actually pretty awesome. I can't thank you enough for joining me. I know I don't know everything about the Harry Potter stuff. Like, I, it's been a long time, but the fact that you're still kind of watching me means a lot. Because I'm also learning as I go, and it's like some, some stuff is like from the movies, and I may not recognize it at first, but then I'll see it when I'm editing, and I'm like, oh, man. All right, here we go. I could have fast traveled. There's been like two or three instances where I could have just fast traveled to make it a little bit easier, but you're running through the school, so it's not like it's too far away. It's, it's literally like right up here to the right. Here we go. All right, let's learn this. I'm guessing it was like a montage for class or whatever. Because it's all quiet right now. It's like there's no noise or anything. It's kind of odd. Alright. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting oh, requires a go. focused mind and a steady wand. There we go. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. I'm going to put it on the top one. All right. I got to admit the... So it's also a damaging one, but... Man, disarms, wands, and weapons. I thought the ones down here looked pretty cool. Look at this. I don't know when we're going to get that, but that looks amazing. All right. You seem to have the right Send stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life. I wanted to see what the range... Alright, the one thing I'm struggling with is like the range on the fire. Hold on. Alright, so from right here to here. Does this hit? Okay, that hits. If I back up a little bit further, we'll try it again. Like right here, maybe? I don't think... I think like this is too far away. Okay, it's still good. I'm just going to test it out because I tried to use it a few times. It just whiffs. I don't know. Okay, it still hits. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing. 
Alright, I think we're good. Now we can actually go back and uh, do this quest. There we go. Locate on the map. Uh, we'll just, yeah, go right here. Forbidden Forest. Now it's daytime. Luckily, we can uh, see a little bit better. I was struggling on the nighttime. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Alright, here we go. I'm assuming since we gotta know how to disarm it, uh, it's gonna be like a learning type thing. I do wanna see, like, I did fight a bunch of enemies earlier. No thanks, buddy. No, thank you. Go over here. <laughs> that looks kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. And it's level 9, so I'm not quite there yet. Got a chest and something to our left. Alright, here we go. Here I am, as good as my word. Alright. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? All right, here we go. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed, a few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is Rather unfortunately, coming back to me. Uh oh, we got spiders and stuff. Rebellion. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bar. Level Has 20, you... what in the world? Is that Latin? Come at plants, uh, potions, yeah, I give you that. The problem is I don't have hardly anything. I could use this. Oh, Greek. Hmm. I'm probably dead here. Level 20. Well, I actually almost got it. What in the world? Defeat spiders. Let's go. There's someone behind me though. I'm out of here. Nothing to do now but keep going. All right, hit a flaming spider to blow it up. Really? Well, let's see where this goes. Oh god. Oh cut Okay. I died so quickly. Yeah, so I I took down the first one. Try again, hold on. I feel like I wasn't supposed to fight those I don't know. Seemed a little like I wasn't quite ready, you know? I've always said Rebellion. travel broadens the mind. Should I go invis? I feel like I should. You over there? No, thank you. Yeah, I went to the left and I saw level 20 and I was like, maybe I could take him, but. Alright, so far so good. This the right side's a lot safer. At least for right now it is. <laughs> if this isn't like a warning, I don't know what is. The tree has everything over there. Oh no. Rebellion. This is gonna be bad. I Waterfall. can feel it. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Should I bring out the light? We learned hold on, we we learned this ability for this quest, I feel like. So I don't wanna unequip it, although I probably won't use it much. Unless a, like a like a boss that needs it or something, I don't know. They're all just chilling. Alright, we can go over here. Rebellion. Oh, that's pretty cool.
Alright, it says it's right here. Hold on, let's see. Wait, what? I got stuck right there. There's something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. I'm kind of wondering... I mean, it's right here, but... Oh, we got a fast travel thing. Nice. Just in case I die by another spider. <laughs> there it is. That was rough. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Oh, this is gonna open up. Let's get it. That is so cool. All right, here it goes. Wait a minute. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... <laughs> I won't rest until you're dead. Oh God! I don't want to use that ability just yet because. All right, disarm. Here we go. All right, committed there. Let's get it. Ooh. I will make you pay. It even does damage too. Nice. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. We got their goggles. That's funny. All right, let's get this. This is going to be kind of like the other area in the game. But at the very end, we must learn something cool at least. There'll be a lot of enemies down here.